Hi there, this is the first video on conservation momentum. And the concept is relatively simple and what people often refer to as the basis of dynamics. This is what most people will think of when they'll think of dynamics. And let's just uh, start off. I'm going to give us a really general situation and then we'll work our way to more complex ones. Uh, let, let's just sit to a more linear fashion right now. So keeping it all in straight lines, I'm going to just draw basically like a, a train, a train caboose or, or something, some sort of uh, just large box that's going to be rolling on wheels obviously. And since we were going with the train theme, uh, I would say maybe we could just call this one, just tossing a number out there, maybe a hundred thousand pounds worth of product. And that hundred thousand pounds is moving to the right at five miles per hour. Great. Well, if the ground were to be considered right here, basically at the bottom, just below the wheels, all the way to the next car, which this next car is going to be just in a, in a similar fashion, has wheels, is a box shape as well, also weighs the same, 100,000 pounds, but rather than going 5 miles per hour, it is going, let's say, 2 miles per hour. Okay, so you see that there is a speed difference, the left one being 5 and the right one being 2, therefore it's fair enough to say that at some point in the near future, the situation is going to look something like this. This connection right here is an indication of a fixed connection and that uh, it is the system has changed from two bodies of mass to one moving at some speed, which I'm going to put in blue, right on the right here, it's going to be going at some speed to the right, which we don't know what that is, I'll just call it V. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the conservation momentum to figure out what this speed is. The equations are relatively simple, um, momentum being uh, the mass times velocity, is momentum, so we could use a big M or some of them use different uh, nomenclature for it, but I think we'll just stick with uh, MV as known as momentum. So if we were to run with this, the first cart, which is a hundred thousand mass times its velocity, five plus since it's going in the same direction, a hundred thousand times the second car speed two is going to shift or, or turn into. I'll put an equal sign here. This the the situation just right here, where you have two hundred thousand pounds of mass. and some speed that we don't know, V. Okay, well it's a relatively simple equation. 100,000 times 5 plus 100,000 times 2 equals 200,000 times V. Well, if we were to evaluate this whole left side and divide it by the 200,000, 
I'm going to let you do all the algebra, but the solution is going to equal v is equal to 3.5 miles per hour. And as you can see, that uh, the combination that the v first cart, when it crashed into the second one, and uh, all that energy was then converted to bring the mass, uh, both the carts speed up to 3.5 miles per hour. Notice that uh, there was no rhyme or reason, uh, whether it was feet per second or miles per hour, uh, doesn't matter as long as the units are consistent throughout the equation. That's all you need to pay attention to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave any comments and questions.